I just promised you my time and I'm giving it to you, babe. So I could be an accused. Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another episode of Disaster Diaries. So I have no idea if this episode has like a little intro or not because let's be real here, it is a miracle that my game is working right now. I'm just happy to be able to play with them. And I know at the end of the day, all you guys have been wanting is a new episode. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're on a date right now, except the date kind of like canceled out and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> So, like, she left. So I'm just like, okay, do we go on a date with someone else? Like, we're here. Do, or do we just do it again? Because I want this thing to happen. So we can do a conversation with our match. We can do Lolita again. And maybe we can just kind of start another date. So right now, as you guys know, Huxton is being a total man war, like literally. So we can just do join me right away. If we do this one, I think she'll just appear right here um because last time we did okay let's meet but outside but now we're already outside so i think if we do this she's just gonna come straight to this lot yeah so now that we've started this thing again here she is we have to learn about the date ask the date if there are other dates tell the date that this person is special and then ask which fruit chosen so let's go did we already do the ask which fruit chosen why do i feel like I don't know. We're going to do that <laughs> because we're starting over. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's just letting us know. I have the eye care mod in my game. I thought it was saying he needs glasses or something, but I think it's just letting us know to like go and get that checkup. Oh my God. Stressful work day, dude. <laughs> really? So we've asked what fruit she chose and we have, you chose banana. So you want a spicy relationship? Let me think about it. That is exactly what he wants. So I feel like they are two peas in a pot, I guess. So let's also do ask if there are other dates honestly i mean you're gonna be going on other dates dude so it shouldn't even matter oh um sure let's go ahead and do that now we can go ahead and tell alita that she's special um did this give him another moodlet so we have oh am i the only one i'm very flattered by this answer and it proves that you don't play with others feelings but she chose banana <laughs> So I think that's so interesting. Um, you may be the only one right now, dude, but I don't think uh, that will be for very long. So yeah, don't flatter yourself. Reason, compliment state. Maybe I'm getting a little too confident right now. I shouldn't reveal my feelings too soon, should I? Oh, okay. So let's go here again. And then we can do ask if Lolita finds me attractive. She's so cute. I actually love her. Like I know she's just going to be like uh, for hookup purposes, but what the heck? I love this set. So then let's go to, um, okay, wait, uh, yeah, I have to take the relationship further. Oh my God. So now we have super cute. I love this compliment. It's so original. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> It's like calling them cute is super original. Okay. I mean, yeah, whatever floats your boat. Are you like asking her the next question? Okay. Ask to take a relationship further. We also have to kiss your date and then say that date is better in person. Okay. Oh my God. Lolita has accepted this new relationship. You now have access to new social interactions with her. Oh, can we not do this one now? Because we, I don't know, but that's fine. So we can go ahead and ask Lolita if I'm allowed to like other people. Oh my God. What do you think she's going to say to that? Stop. And then we can uh, ask if she still has the app installed. So we have this here. I want to see you again. Call me whenever you want. I want to see you more often and share great moments with you. And then we have you agree oh wait 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 what is that you agree for real i appreciate your trust yeah that's the term okay so she says that we can still see other people did you delete it thank you it's a real sign of respect and i really appreciate it she deleted it she deleted the fucking app oh my god girl you do not want to delete the app for him i promise you <laughs> Okay, I think we should like officially kiss her. So let's go to, hold on. They actually have like some good romance going here. So I feel like we should just be able to like kiss right away. So, oh, we actually can't. Okay. Well, let's do a couple other things first then. Let's go do affection and we're going to confess our attraction to her. And yeah, we need to get the, oh, wait, what? This bitch is like scared of him. <laughs> What the heck? We still can't kiss her. What? I don't know. 
We can, we still can't, we obviously can't do the like say that she looks better in person thing. So if we can't even kiss her, I don't know where this is gonna go. Um, we can embrace and make a move. Should we make a move? Oh, okay. There doesn't seem, seem to be a good location for that, sure. Let's do sexy pose. Why can't we kiss her? Like, is this gonna be a fail? I mean, we did pretty well already, right? But like, let's be real here. He 100% wants to kiss her. And, oh, okay, wait, that went away. Now it says flirt with date. Okay, hold on, what? I'm so confused, but we can embrace her. And then let's see. Okay, we have flirted. And yeah, so we kind of can't do the last one, which sucks. It's just like not there because it like swapped. We'll talk about the app though. I would say this is a successful date, you know? Um, Let's go ahead and ask her how long she's been using the app. Oh, we also have, what do you think about the app? I think it's great. That's the reason I met you. That's destiny. Oh my God, are you joking? Oh, now she's gonna go ask someone for her um autograph we have a few months there's a that's a reasonable amount of time to find the right person i'll never judge you anyway so we have some time with this date and honestly i literally want them to like woohoo and shit but uh things are not happening <laughs> <laughs> like, we can't do stuff. I don't know why. It's, like, super weird to me. Yeah, really weird, right? I don't know what is going on with that. We're gonna give her a condom. We're gonna try to apply something here. But, like, they've met and stuff. Like, I don't know what is going on. Like, we- I don't know. Super weird that we can't just go ahead and kiss her. It makes me, like, kind of want to end the day early and, like, see if that- Oh, did you see that? Something's not right. <gasps> Ooh, from not being with Sulmi. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna end up like affecting him like to be real with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just like end this. We're gonna end it early, but we did still get our reward. And does that even like affect anything? I don't think so. For some reason we can't kiss her. I don't know, kind of disappointing. Like we want to straight up like woohoo with you, bitch. Like, hello, hello. Um, We can go to Wicked. And we can do this though. We can go ahead and- Oh no! What the heck? That is so weird, you guys. I don't know if anything's gonna go down with her, which really sucks. I feel like he just wants to hook up with someone. And I don't know what's going on here. Like, what do you mean? I mean, we can go ahead and just like invite one of the other girls because clearly he has like relationships going with so many women. Oh, my heart leaps when you are near. I love you more and more. Oh, every day. What? Okay, so um, this girl is like quite literally falling for him and I don't know what to think of it. Did she leave though? Okay, I think she left. Oh my god, like what? So should we invite one of the other girls over? Should we invite Alice? Let's invite her here. I really don't know like what was going on there, but he is starving. So we're gonna go ahead and order some food. We're gonna do, um, let's do some bread rolls. That sounds good. Okay, so here she is. She's coming right over to sit with us. And I really hope we can do something here. I really do. What? Do you guys know why that's happening? Like, what the heck do you mean? Like, they know each other. I'm genuinely so confused. Like, he can't hook up with girls. Are you kidding me? That's like exactly what he wants to do. How unfair. I mean, it's kind of what he deserves. It kind of is. We may just say bye. Like, he's still being a little man whore. And we may go ahead and go back over to the main household because, let's be real, little baby needs to get to bed because for whatever reason, Esme's not putting her to bed. And then I think we're going to switch back on over to the main household. Okay, so it looks like she was actually trying to get a workout in. We still have trash overload. I don't know. We might be ignoring that. I feel like it's never ending. Oh, you came back? I mean, okay. What the heck? Wait, what? Where is she? Excuse you. Hello? Get carried here? by Esme? Where is our child? I'm actually concerned. No, but seriously, I'm assuming she's just in here, but like, why? Um, <laughs> this might be a problem. Uh, visit with her. I mean, apparently she's there, but I'll do anything to get, like, make sure she actually shows up. That's so weird. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. That was scary. I was like, oh my god, are, are, is she broken? Okay, poor little bean is literally so upset. Get her to bed. Like, what? Dude, you are being awful right now. I know you're tired, but like, she comes first. Huxley comes first. 
So I guess you're going to go straight to bed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pick back up in the morning. He is sleeping on a fucking bench. I don't even know what the fuck you're doing, bro. Like, like, no, seriously, like, no, no, no. We're, we're not going to do that. I feel like, uh, I feel like Esme would actually want him to sleep here. So we're going to have them just sleep together. Okay, poor little Huxley is so upset. You're going to get up. We are going to go ahead and bottle feed her. So let's go ahead and go to baby care and then feed and and we're gonna bottle feed so we can definitely start like you know trying to teach her things so that she can sit in the high chair and stuff so we will try to get to that too we also have like literally overflowing trash right now like seriously <laughs> so she's gonna have to do that afterwards but we can also call trash removal and she's saying okay let's just empty this he's off to work literally didn't even say bye didn't even you know interact with his daughter at all we have poor Avely just standing out here with <laughs> what is going on oh my god our neighborhood is actually a disaster and i do not say that lightly so we're gonna be going back over to her household very shortly everyone like smells like i think she has a dirty diaper and everything so we're gonna go ahead and change her diaper and you also have work so we're gonna go ahead and work from home though oh my god she's disgusting like everyone is just miserable right now honestly this is a very accurate representation of what would be going on right now do i just leave this trash here like i am so tempted you guys have no idea like i just feel like this is exactly what would be happening here right now so i'm tempted to just leave and go to the other household like she's probably gonna fall asleep here she's already so exhausted again so i say we go back over to the main household and see what's going on here because poor Avery, honestly so we're gonna switch back okay so it appears that Avery is just trying to make the best out of the situation and just go swimming get it girl okay what i do think she wants to do though oh um array is home and you know what i actually kind of feel like she would kind of try to help out and clean up the neighborhood you know i feel like she's kind of in that sort of mood right now she's feeling happy um she's also stoned <laughs> I feel like she's trying to just like reduce her mom's stress levels at this point. Who the hell's calling? Oh, your boss. Are you supposed to be at work? Girl. She's like, I don't want to go to work today. Honestly, I don't blame you. Should we though go ahead and we can call in fake sick, but like, I don't want to do that either. I'm also wondering, like, do we experience a day at work soon with her? Because that's another thing we can absolutely do. But let's go ahead and go to work. I don't think, like, I feel like if we have her miss the day, you know, it'll just be a whole thing. They're also missing school, which I do think she would miss school, but we're going to have him go to school. She's going to spend the day cleaning up. We're going to ignore these phone calls. I think she's kind of just like blowing it off. Like, hey, like, I don't feel good today. Can I stay home from school? And I feel like April is like, yeah, that's fine, sweetie. You can stay home. But really, she's just trying to like clean things up and stuff. And yeah, she sees that things have just been like entirely a mess. So she's just trying to like deal with some stuff like oh my god she's even over here cleaning stuff by esme's because what the heck okay so we officially have cleaned up and she's home alone for the day so you guys know she's been struggling a lot some of you guys are shipping her and her best friend i just don't feel like that like i feel like a lot of times we just like naturally ship two sims together especially if they're male and female just because like all their best friends they must have to date and honestly like i don't want to do that so I think she is going to invite him over. I could see them hooking up, but like just like because they're teenagers and they're having fun. I don't see like anything relationship wise happening there. Like I really, really don't um and yeah i don't want them to like accidentally fall in love either so if they were to hook up like i'd want to make sure they were set as like friends with benefits or i would just like cheat the relationship back down because i just i really don't see that like i know you guys are saying like they would be cute together but like i feel like for once i want to have like a girl and boy best friend who are just best friends and like that's it like i don't think it has to be anything more than that all the time um and i do think she's like way cuter with ash oh my god you guys i didn't even okay i completely forgot because you know with the whole broken game and everything before that even happened i gave them makeovers and then like i completely forgot that i even did that hold on we have to get them bo both over here then so i gave noah and ash makeovers like i didn't even address that oh my gosh i like forgot that i haven't showed you guys yet because usually i would have already recorded not one but two episodes by now because i've been posting it like 
really frequently, like more than once a week. Wh what are you doing? Okay, so now he's not even in his everyday, so let's put him back. So yeah, this is Noah's new look, you guys. I personally love it. I think it is so much more him. But yeah, I think that's his, I don't know what that was, his athletic wear. So yeah, here is what he's looking like. I know he looks a little bit older, but I think because he started to go through puberty and he started to grow some facial hair, I gave him like the facial hair that's meant to be like for the teens. And yeah, I feel like he just like has a little more mature look to him now. Um, but yeah, I mean like, I, well, first of all, I feel like teenagers nowadays, as soon as you go through puberty, like you could easily look 18, even if you're only like 16. So I feel like that's kind of like what's going on there. Um, I don't know why he keeps running all over the place. Like, bruh, let's tell him he is our favorite because I definitely think that he is. And then here is Ash. Okay. She's kind of in an awkward spot right now. So I'll show you guys her properly in just a second here, but we're going to go ahead and also talk with her. So we're going to also go to here actually. Well, yeah, we'll do like a normal hug. I don't know what she's doing right now. Like, what are you doing? Oh, is she smoking? Oh, yeah. I would definitely say she's <laughs> definitely currently a pothead right now. Like, yeah, she is like smoking every chance she gets, even when I'm not telling her. So that's kind of just what she's going through right now. Okay, so here is Ash, guys. I freaking love her. I don't care what anyone has to say. I love her. <laughs> And I love all her outfits too, but this is her every day. I love her new hair. Like, oh my gosh, I just had to see see if I her. Let me go ahead and put her in her every day. But yeah, I feel like, you know, she kind of play talky. She's pretending to be not feeling well right now. And meanwhile, she actually feels totally fine and she just wants to get high and just invite her friends over. So let's do romance and let's go to flirtation and we're going to do, um, we're going to do flirt just a little bit. Um, actually, should we talk about fantasies? Yeah, let's do that. So we can go ahead. Should we have them move somewhere? I feel like, like maybe, yeah, I think they should all like go in the room. Yeah, let's go ahead and chat here. She's feeling flirty, like very flirty at that. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. They're all going together. Oh, we need to pay the bills, you guys. No. Okay, can she do it or no? She can do it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pay the bills and rent. That is pretty pricey. So, but it is for the bills and the rent. Look at her being all, re all responsible, like doing that for her parents. Well, for her mom, she's like not a fan of her dad right now. So let's go ahead. Oh, she looks so gorgeous, you guys. I feel like the lighting's better there. So let's go here and we're going to go ahead and kiss her. But look at her. Like, isn't she so pretty? I Hello? I didn't change any of her features. Like, just see if I'd. And then I feel like he, yeah, you can see him better now too. So there we go. He still definitely looks really young. He just, yeah, going through that puberty. And they're just gonna hang out in her bedroom and we're gonna do flirtation and we're gonna do um, compliment her appearance. It's almost time for her little brother to come home, but I feel like he's gonna go next door. What was that? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so romance. Offer to woohoo in bed. Okay, let's see. I don't know if she's gonna want to, as I said. Let's see. Wait, something's not right. Who's supposed to be her soulmate? Hold on. Oh my god. Wait. Open profile. Okay, no, not you. Is it the other girl? Is it Savannah? Oh wait, did we already go over this? Oh, maybe. Okay. I don't know you guys. Like, uh, what do you guys think? I don't know if she, like, I just feel like she's a very sexual person. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there. We have dust bunnies. I don't want dust. I'm going to turn it off. He wants to leave anyways. So he is exhausted. Poor Jariah. Um, I want you to invite to hang out and let's invite April. What? You're missing school. No, you're not. Okay. That's weird. So I've been thinking I really want Ava Lee to like get into crystal making or something. I think that would be cool. What is this? Oh, she has cannabis induced euphoria. Don't worry about a thing. Okay. So yeah. Do you guys think they should like officially date? Like I like... I could still like kind of see that happening, but I also kind of see her just like having fun right now. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I might go ahead and change her soulmate in the settings because you guys know with the soulmate mod, it only works as like romantic soulmates. I know you can have other soulmates in life, like best friend soulmate, stuff like that. But with the mod specifically, it's supposed to be romance related. So in that sense, like I may have to change her soulmate. Dude, what? No, just eat your veggie burger. Where exactly is April? Anyways, is she staring me right in the face? Cause I feel like that happens to me. And then I just like see her while editing. Yeah. That that's such a very me thing to do. I don't know where she's at. Okay. Wait, focus the camera. Oh, she is still in here. 
Oh, okay. I thought we were going to hang out, but I mean, he is exhausted. So maybe, yeah, maybe he will just go to bed. I mean, he's going to take a nap, which I think would be perfect for him right now. I think he needs like a little pick me up. She's out here eating her veggie burger and it looks like, okay, you're leaving too. I mean, it would make sense. She's not supposed to have friends over and like her parents are going to be off work soon or, oh my God, I keep doing that. It's making me sad. Her parent, I know she still has parents, but like now, like it doesn't even matter about her dad because he doesn't live there. Oh my God. She made 881 simoleons in one day. Girl, get it. Okay, but yeah. So, ooh, your days. Mental fog. From starting to burn out, Evely is starting to feel woozy from her mental load. Maybe she should take a break from or exercise some creative skills before it gets worse. Okay, so this actually goes perfectly with the storyline that I had in mind. So I think that she would be getting into crystal making and stuff and like jewelry. I feel like it would be a perfect hobby for her. I think she needs that. So yeah, I think we're gonna do that. It looks like she wants to finish this cooking up though. So go ahead, girl. That looks delicious. So what? I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening here. But okay, girl, do your thing. Oh, now it's raining. Oh, she she just want like, come on. W like, what is this? <laughs> oh my God, now April's outside. Okay, and now that's rotten. Like, I am so confused. Resume this mushroom steak. Enjoy that. Okay, she literally put it on the ground, but go ahead and grab some food. And I would love to actually put this in her inventory and maybe put it in the fridge. Um, no, 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 no. So she's going to go ahead, enjoy her steak. But yeah, I think she would definitely be getting into a hobby right now. So what do you guys think about that? And I think she would actually turn this area into her little crystal making area. Like, I love that idea. So we're going to like start kind of like transforming it. Obviously this would be like a process thing. So I'm not going to go crazy. Like I'm not going to just, you know, I feel like maybe start starting to get rid of some furniture. I kind of like the idea though of leaving this up here, you know, like I kind of feel like she's turning it into this little area, but I think maybe she would get rid of the kitchen, but I think having a bathroom up here would still be good. Um, I just think she's trying to have it not look like an actual, like like living space like for someone to live at like anymore you know what i mean i don't even think we need the closet no i think we can put the crystal thing like right there and i think we're gonna get rid of this so yeah i think this will be really really therapeutic for her and just like a nice new skill to learn okay so we're gonna get this and then let's go ahead and change it i think she yeah this kind of like matches the place because we do still want everything to match and like i said like this will be gradual so i don't see her like all of a sudden having this like whole setup but i can see her having like a little display thing um i mean i'm gonna be getting rid of the kitchen so let's start like i think it makes sense to keep the bathroom though and yeah, we're gonna just keep that like that. We can have like the display table here and then she can have like some crystals here, a little jewelry thing. And yeah, we can have that like that. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and move this slightly forward. There we go. And then I think we'll change it like to the black swatches. This one, ooh, I like that. So yeah, like we're not gonna go crazy like I said and we're just gonna leave it like that for now. Um, what we can actually do though still is get this light here kind of like, you know, so she has some extra light. Okay, perfect. So now she has her own little crystal area and I think this will be perfect for her, especially right now. So we're going to have her come up here. Okay. She finally made it. She's going to the bathroom and we're going to have her change and she's just going to kind of like wind down and make some jewelry or some crystals, whatever. So let's go ahead and change her really fast though. So I think actually we'll put her in her pajamas. She wants to be comfy. You know, she just needs some time. I literally feel like it's perfect that she's dazed and stuff like she's having burnout. I think for her first one, let's go ahead and design some jewelry. Yeah. So we'll do something simple. I think we'll make this basic necklace here. We're going to keep things cheap right now. So we're just going to do this first one and there we go. So yeah, like this doesn't have to be an expensive thing for her. Maybe she'll start selling jewelry, but she is a doctor. Girl, you really be trying to like, really, really. We still have more trash back here. Like, wow, love that. Now she's going all the way back up. Like, girl, girl. But yeah, like, she is like a full-time doctor. And so I don't think it needs to be something where, like, she's making all this cash. Like, she could just make the cheap stuff. And it's just something she enjoys doing. So, ooh, you're embarrassed from poor performance. Oh, no. 
Yeah, she hasn't been focusing. We should have her do her homework. Yeah, she's a D student right now, you guys. So she's kind of struggling with that. You're feeling all sorts of things. Like, what the heck? Let's have you go to the bathroom. It is 9.30, but he's tired. So I'm gonna get him to sleep. He did not do his homework, but we can always do it in the morning. I feel like he'll have time. And yeah, so she is, you know, doing this thing. She has acquired the gemology skill. So hopefully this brings her like some sort of joy and, you know, will just be like kind of a little escape for her because I definitely think she needs that. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, did you just cut your finger now? Oh no. Girl, be careful. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode here, kind of winding down for the night. She's literally going to knock an eye out, I swear. Like, like, chill out, chill out. But, you know, <laughs> I think in the end, this will really relax her and be a great little hobby for her. So what do you guys think? But yeah, this is kind of like a really odd angle. But yeah, I just instantly thought that she would get into this when this pack came out because, you know, she's going through a lot and I feel like it would just relax her and I felt like she just needed a hobby and time to like focus on herself. So what do you guys think? With that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Then